ledges off the North Carolina coast. They're actually ancient riverbeds. So these teeth, they're just embedded there in all those beds. It's why it's one of the rare spots in the world where you can find these giant prehistoric shark's teeth. About 40 miles off the coast of Wrightsville Beach is a hot spot for finding these giant megalodon teeth. A lot of people don't even know they're there, especially people that live on Wrightsville Beach their whole lives. You know, I, we show them these megalodon teeth and they're just amazed by it. Chris Slog owns WB Diving and is also a marine biologist. He leads dives to the megalodon tooth ledges. It's really rare. It's one of a few places in the world where you can find them uh, in those numbers. Teeth have been found all over the world but not in the concentrations like we're finding them here. The ledges are a big draw for divers from all over because it is such a hot spot for finding these fossilized teeth of giant prehistoric megalodon sharks. They roamed the waters about two million years ago. You know, if you get a, a six inch megalodon tooth, which is what everybody wants. I mean, you're talking about a 65 foot shark. I mean, it's the size of a school bus. Yeah, it's massive. Finding these massive teeth takes a lot of experience. You definitely want to be an advanced diver to do it. Uh, there are currents out there. It is, it is pretty deep, you know, over 100 feet. So what you're looking for is that shape. Uh, so you're actually down there, you know, fanning and, and digging for them as well. So why are these underwater ledges so full of these giant teeth? So these ledges are actually ancient riverbeds, and uh, now obviously the ocean's filled in, so they're 110 feet underwater. Finding them? like hitting the jackpot. It's just that that search, like looking for gold. Some even worth thousands. The value of a, sh of a tooth is established by, first of all, the perfection, the size, the color, and the serrations. Audrey Longton has added the teeth to her Wrightsville Beach coffee shop called The Workshop. She calls it coffee with a bite. I don't think there is another coffee shop where you can actually buy espresso, a sandwich, and a megalodon tooth. She even started a jewelry line from the smaller shark seas she finds diving. Just it's a huge success. That's because so many are fascinated to find these huge megalodon teeth, whether on land or diving off the North Carolina coast. It doesn't matter how many teeth we found, every time we go down, it's, it's like the first time doing it. It's just, it never gets old. Treasure hunting underwater. So these dives off the North Carolina coast to look for these giant megalodon teeth. They are advanced dives. They require deep water experience because you have to go more than 100 feet down for them. But there is a spot on land in North Carolina where you can still sift for them. We have put up all that info on ABC11.com mm. with this story, guys. That sounds very fun. Yes. So take your family, do some treasure hunting on uh -huh. land, and uh, take them to the lady in Wrightsville Beach, and she'll sell them for you. <laughs> a shark the size of a school bus. I know. And well, you can. <laughs> I mean, that's such a wild sight seeing yeah. them in, in those divers' hands. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's the size of an adult hand. Real treasure. Yeah, no kidding. Mm -hmm. Crazy. <laughs>